Well, ladies and gentlemen, the runners have arrived down at the two and a half mile start. If you look down the back straight, just beyond midway, you'll see the runners congregated at the start. They have a total of 15 fences to jump this time, the first two of which are over there on the far side. They start with a plain one and then the open ditch and then they turn for home. They're under starters' orders and they're off. So away they go with two and a half miles in front of them for this, the Blackpool Evening Gazette. Novice's handicap steeplechase. Quite a nice break. Chalier Richards towards the back of the field early, but as they touch down over the first of the 15 fences they have to jump this time, Redaka comes out in front from And Why Not in second place on towards the open ditch. Carden Den is further back with Unguided Missile and Silver Age. And Why Not put in a spectacular jump there at the open ditch and now goes to the front. Chalier Richards in sixth place at the moment, then a gap back to Captain Chance. And last of all in the early stages is Fruman. So they're turning at the top end of the racetrack, and why not together with Ridaka? Ridaka is the only one electing to go with this leader in the early stages because these two have now drawn about five or six lengths clear to the rest of the field who are packing up now. Silver Age is just about in third place, uh, tackled by Unguided Missile on the outside. Carden Den comes next, followed then by Chalier Richards. Fruman still towards the back of the field with Captain Chance as they come in towards the home straight. And the leaders uh, all taking that particular fence in great style. On towards the next they go. And why not with a narrow advantage here from Ridaka in second place. These two still very nicely clear from Silver Age disputing third with Unguided Missile. Carden Den next, then Chalier Richards. And Fruman has just made a place. Captain Chance is now the back marker. And Captain Chance, albeit in the very early stages of the race, must be some 15 to 20 lengths behind the leading two. Down they come to another plain fence, this one number five, and there quite clearly out in front was Ridaka. Ridaka touched down two lengths clear to And Why Not in second place. These two remain an awful long way clear now of Unguided Missile and Silver Age third and fourth as the leader comes towards the open ditch. Ridaka stood off a mile there, got over it safely enough from And Why Not. Then Unguided Missile, Silver Age, then Chalier Richards, ridden patiently Chalier Richards. Fruman next with Cardenden and one who's uh, run out there, missed out the water completely there, was Ridaka. Ridaka has missed the water, so uh, he's out of the race now. I'm not sure whether Tim Ely has uh, realised his error yet. Ridaka out of the contest then, so ignore that front runner. The grey and why not is now left out in front from in second place. We have the light blue colours of Unguided Missile, then Silver Age, Fruman next, then Chalier Richards, Carden Den and Captain Chance is uh, still at the back of the field. So, the horse who's out in front, that's Ridaka, but he did not jump the water, so uh, he can't possibly be a contender anymore, but he's going on nevertheless. Ignore him, though, if you can. The grey horse is the horse actually out in front. This is And Why Not. And Why Not to it. Leading from Unguided Missile, Silver Age, Chalier Richards, and then comes Fruman. Carden Den has uh, stopped quite quickly. That one's now towards the back of the field, and Captain Chance not going that well. And eventually, this Redaka has fallen. Redaka fallen, and we've lost another one there. That one was Fruman. So Fruman out of the contest. And uh, runners go on towards the next, and why not leading? And why not is out in front from Silver Age, Unguided Missile, Chalier Richards and uh, Carden Den's being pulled up at the back of the field, so just five left going, the one who's tailed off is Captain Chance. So an eventful little race this, as they go past their starting point on towards another plain fence, and why not leading? Chalier Richards jumps right up on the inside of Unguided Missile, they're the second and third, then Silver Age. Captain Chance still going, but 20 lengths off the leading four. They go on towards the next, the final open ditch, four from home this, and why not with Chalier Richards, who's been given a lovely patient ride, and Chalier Richards jumped to the front there, also putting in a good jump was Unguided guided missile on the outside and why not fighting back and these three now in line Silver Age hasn't given up the ghost quite yet a very close fourth and then a massive gap to Captain Chance don't think Graham Bradley will persist too much longer he's now a distance behind them so four left with a chance then as they turn back towards the home straight now the grey and why not now just narrowly back in front from unguided missile on the outside travelling smoothly Silver Age rallies nicely into third and Chalier Richards all of a sudden hard at work in fourth place and with work to do as they turn for home with just three fences in front of them now and towards the next of them 
Very little to choose between Unguided Missile and Why Not. Silver Age rallying most gamely. And then Chalier Richards. And Why Not now comes under pressure, the grey. So too Silver Age. And Unguided Missile of all, all of a sudden is going best of the lot. So the top weight, Unguided Missile, down towards the second last, a length and a half clear to And Why Not in second place. The leader made a bad blunder there, but he continues on unabated. Chalier Richards also uh, made a bad mistake when beaten in fourth place. But down towards the final fence, Tony Dobbin looking very confident here on Unguided Missile, the clear leader now, and why not in second, Silver Age third, this is the last, Unguided Missile up and over it safely, touches down, the faller there went in second place, and why not, a heavy fall at that, he badly impeded Silver Age, and Silver Age negotiates him nicely, an adept uh, sidestep there from Silver Age for second place, Chalier Richards next, pulled up at the back of the field, uh, we have uh, Captain Chance and also Carden Den, he pulled up much earlier, but up towards the line, Tony Dobbin gets his second winner of the afternoon, both have uh, been very easy as well. Addington boy earlier. Now, unguided missile. A double as well for Gordon Richards, and he's at the line now. 12 lengths clear. Silver Age in second place. Chalier Richards, just about the only other one to complete, in third. First number one. Second number four. And the third horse was number seven.